It's a Bumblecast Mini, sponsored by Chaos Sonic 1. Here we go. Since it's also the month of love at the time of recording... Wait, hold on. You dated this one, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> at the intended time of recording. At the, at, but... the t- at, the time, at the time they sent this in. Oh, well. Oh, well. Have you thought of writing romance novels? The accidental shipping is immense. No, it's not really my thing. We've said it before on the show. I'm not super comfortable writing romance stuff because I don't think I'm particularly good at it. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense if you don't think you're good at it. It's not something I've seen you write very much, so it makes sense. Now, I've heard stuff like the Harlequin romance novels have like a template that you follow. Yeah. And I have been kind of tempted to look into that and just for the novelty of, you know, plug in names, hit key points, churn out material Uh but uh, i don't know if the time justifies the price or if it would if the novelty would wear off you know i don't know Mm -hmm. i got enough on my plate right now i don't need to be investigating that just yet well that's a very novel novelty novel (laughs) considering that the ancients were sort of the first species to get there is it possible that there were more cocoa throughout earth even in the mainlands I maybe that really depends on how far Sega wants to take the cocoa. If we never see them again, no, they were just localized to the Starfall Islands. If we see them all over the place in the future, yes, clearly the ancients colonized the rest of the world. They took the cocos with them. We'll find out together. But they're very adorable, marketable characters. Sega could make a yeah, lot of money. So are the Chow. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Leave it to Sega to disappoint us. What is the what is with the purple Master Emerald that was where Knuckles' side quests were shown? Is there more Master Emeralds throughout Earth? That is a very good question. That wasn't in the script. That was uh saw that in some early footage. I'm like, hmm, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> so uh if we ever go back and reveal all the Secrets of the Ancients, that'll be a fun blank to fill in. I don't think it was meant to be a Master Emerald, but I don't know. It's just a nice, big, purple emerald. There's nothing special about it. Nope, nothing at all. As pre-reboot Archie was going on and Frontiers was incorporated, how would you change the origins of the Chaos Emeralds here? Or will pull a certain writer's idea and pull a Superman kryptonite here? Oh, God, I'm glad I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, just thinking about it gives me heart palpitations. Uh, but, I mean, on the one hand, you could say maybe the ancients just had their own chaos emeralds. Like, they sampled from the other worlds. and But then why were they not gathered in the Great Harmony? Uh, or I guess they would have been because the ancients are long dead. I don't know. It's... It would have been a bit of a contortionist act <laughs> to make that continuity fit. Uh, there are some benefits to the reboot. Just a few. Just a few. I miss some of the characters, though. Oh, sure. If instead of supersonic, would hypersonic be better suited to take down the end? I actually pitched that. Yeah, you did. Very early on. And uh, I got a polite no th- thank you in response. Like, okay. <laughs> Well, that's dumb. Yet another Sega disappointment. What do you think would happen if Big was legally required to get a fishing license? Well, first you have to go out and tell him <laughs> such a thing exists. Then you have to explain why he has to have a license to fish on his own property. And uh-huh. then you have to explain what property is, because he just kind of wherever. And once you have been distilled within him the entire socioeconomic structure of the world that he just exists in, he kind of goes, okay. And, you know, he does it. He gets it. Goes back to fishing. Yep. <laughs> he doesn't bother. He just he just fishes. What are you going to do? Stop him? <laughs> he... Say, if Orbot and Cubot joins Eggman, would Sage see them and hug them having a family? This is a fan I idea. <laughs> I don't see her being super snuggly cuddly with the family. It's... The Eggman Empire is a working family. They're 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 a business first 
family second type of deal. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. This is a fan idea, sir. How dare you? I'm joking, obviously. So what if instead of Sonic, Metal Sonic was the one who has to save Eggman in Frontiers? I mean, he would, because he would be <sighs> told to, probably. That would at least be an interesting take since, you know, the friend characters find two of the emeralds for Sonic. So yeah. if Metal were to leave them trapped, as he probably would be inclined to do, would he just not find the other emeralds? Or would he manage to find them without their help? And we don't know if good old-fashioned, regular, vanilla Metal Sonic can go super. It stands to reason he could, but we haven't actually seen that. Well, let's see That being it. said, <laughs> can you imagine a Frontiers Titan boss style fight with a super metal sonic uh do want the yes. slashy slashy the the burst shield that nukes a continent yeah torso laser that levels mountains oh my god dude <laughs> uh so sign me up sign me up and he wouldn't have to even worry about the cyber corruption thing so much as you know he's a lar he's arguably a digital being his consciousness is ones and zeros mm-hmm Makes sense. Like at worst, Sage would have to defrag him, you know? <laughs> oh, he's solid state now. You don't have to worry about defragging. <laughs> All right. What if instead of Amy, Tails, and Knuckles, it was the Archie versions of Sally, Rotor, Antoine, and Bunny? They're trapped. How would it go for the Freedom Fighters to have their own frontiers? At largely the same. Uh, I mean, that's yeah. the yeah. structure of the game. You find somebody trapped, you break them out. And they have a bit of a, a personal arc within each one. It's just, it would be different characters. Now, the thing is, we had three islands of that structure. So where would the fourth freedom fighter go? Well, I mean, there's technically four islands, really. But we don't count that one as a separate island, I guess. I don't know. Uh, or Bunny and Antoine are together. Nah, it's boring. You need to have them separated for the angst. I know, I know. I get it. I understand. I mean, I imagine Sally would be frustrated that you know she's on the sidelines and not being able to do more for her friends. Mm -hmm. uh, Rotor would be geeking out over the tech and wishing that he could do more as well. Antoine would be n a nervous wreck, hoping that Bunny's okay, and just like badgering Sonic the entire time. Why are you not defending the imbelims that much faster? <laughs> I'm having much the concern for our friends. Quickly, now, please. <laughs> and Bunny's put out; she can't punch stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same way Knuckles is. <laughs> she tried to punch it, and it didn't even move. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming Sally would have acorns as her emblem. Maybe, yeah, probably. Maybe Rotor has hats. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't want to recycle the wrenches. Yeah, Antoine has swords, probably, maybe, something like that. Yeah, yeah. If we were doing Sad AM, it'd be toupees. But... Or toupees. This is, he specified Archie, so we'll, we'll say swords. Yeah. And then Bunny would be just probably robot arms or something, just like robot hand or whatever. I don't know, something like that. Unless you have another idea. That's all I can think of. But that would be fun. After all of Sonic Frontiers, any regrets like you could have done better, or is it exactly what you felt? Oh, sure. Like, this is the first time I wrote for a Sonic game. First time I've written for an open world game. I know, open zone, but similar concept. Something that is not linearly structured. Yeah. Uh, first time working with the team in such a capacity. First time for a lot of stuff. And uh, I, I learned a lot from it. And I wish I could go back and apply those lessons to what we did, but that's the that's the learning process, you know. Yep. So, so <laughs> what what's there is good. What's there is good. Yes. You, you always go back and see where you could revise and do better. But, but what's there is good. Yes, and that's why there's DLC to make it even better or to expand upon it. But we won't talk about that. With the Chow coming from space now. This, in a way, makes Fleetway sort of incorporated, in a way, a.k.a. the Dracon Empire. For context, the Dracons are alien fish with humanoid mechs, and in Fleetway there is no Chow, 
as Chaos was a Dragon Prosecutor that got mutated from the Chaos Emeralds and became this jerk. Your thoughts? P.S. He has additional abilities, changes his form from solid to liquid to gas at will, and will cause feelings of extreme fear and panic in others, rendering them unable to fight back. If you want to, like, really, really, really step back and try to draw that parallel, I can see it. But mm, that that is not the tightest comparison I've heard. I get where you're coming from. You're not wrong, but I wouldn't really conflate the two. Mm -hmm. And our last question. We talked about Sonic characters and Sonic Frontiers, but what if instead of the Sonic characters, it was Mega Man characters? How would this change go? So it would, well, would I mean, be Roll, Blues, and would be the third one. Would Light be one of them? See, that's... There's so many tempting options. I know. <laughs> there is. I mean, there's a built-in joke, too, with Light being, you know, all digital ghosty. And he's like, huh, I wonder if this would ever become a thing. Hope this doesn't <laughs> catch on. <laughs> uh I mean the the core narrative structure works across I would everything. Yeah. I mean Blues is a good boy. He's gonna go out there, he's gonna try his best. He doesn't want to fight the giant robots, but you don't really leave him with much of a choice. You mean Rock? Yes. Yes. He said Blues. Blue Boy, but his name is Rock because Blues is in the capsule and yeah. he's all mad that he's in the capsule. Yes. He, he wants to do this on his own. Yeah. That's proto man. And Roll is also very annoyed that she's in a capsule. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she wants to help. Mm -hmm. She wants to contribute. She can't touch anything. Yep. Uh, the whole thing about, you know, gaining chaos and rolls and going super, though, that's not really Mega Man's thing. Not in, so, not in the yeah. traditional sense, but, I mean, gathering up m weapons and more powerful uh, abilities definitely is so it fits with that yeah. aspect what exactly it would entail collecting i don't know maybe there's like cyberspace duplicates of various robot masters per island mm -hmm. he's gotta defeat all eight because you can't just have it a seven come on now <laughs> and then you use that suite of weapons to take on the titans yeah and then as he teleports to the next island, there's data corruption. And he loses the weapon data. So he's got to go fight the mate robot masters again. Yep. Yep. Theme it to each island. That could be fun. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be really cool. It's kind of like, think of like a very open world Mega Man Legends <laughs> sort of thing. Similar puzzles and stuff. A lot of side scrolling. And if not Dr. Light. Play aspects. Then base. Yeah, I guess it kind of makes sense. Because him being so super salty about, one, owing Mega Man, and two, yeah. not being able to do anything would be just <laughs> glorious. <laughs> and him feeling jealous about Wily having a new AI daughter that he's doting over. <laughs> <laughs> or robot daughter, I mean, whatever. The triumphant romantic. return of Walt. Yeah, maybe something like that. Honestly, <laughs> I think that I think that would be good. I'm oh man, uh, yeah, this would be great. This is get a great another great concept. Just... Capcom, call me. We get sued together. <laughs> just 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 tweak things a little bit. They can't sue you. <laughs> They can't sue you any, not anymore. They tried to sue like way back in the day. God, what was it? Who? It was sometime during the Atari era where like one company sued another because they made a game that was in the same genre. So they tried to, you know, copyright trademark a genre. <laughs> Didn't work out well for them, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you to Chaos Sonic 1 for sponsoring this Bumblecast Mini. If you want one of your own, head over to patreon.com slash bumblecast, ko-fi.com slash bumblecast, or become a YouTube member. Bye! Bye.